They made a Garbage Pail Kids Nintendo game. You have no idea how much I would have freaked out if they would have had a video game about Garbage Pail Kids back in the day. I was a huge Garbage Pail Kids collector. Now, although Garbage Pail Kids were kind of doing their thing before the NES was super popular, it would have been awesome to still have this game, even if it came out early on. And this game not only plays like a Nintendo game, it's literally programmed as a Nintendo game, but it plays on modern consoles as of today. The NES game, you can pre-order it. Sticker Shock, 80 bucks, CIB. I pre-ordered one because I gotta have the NES card. You do not need to have the NES card. It's available right now for Steam, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. And it's my pleasure to talk about new games, new and old, so make sure you're subscribed because there's always something new coming up. Maybe there's always something old coming up, I'm not sure. This is Garbage Pail Kids, Mad Mike, and the Quest for Stale Gum. Now, Digital Eclipse had their hands in this game, which means that all the cool things that Digital Eclipse is known for, like the behind the scenes stuff, the way it saves, well, uh, we'll, we'll cover that in, later on in this video. Now, even things like, you know, screen size or filters, or the, how the border is set and stuff like that too, you can optimize that to however you need. Like, let's just say it's a normal size, normal size TV border, the LCD filter. There you go, you hit start, the game begins. For this video, I'll just do like a normal size. I'll just do like a simple border here. And there are so many of your favorite Garbage Pail Kids in this game. Playable, not playable, enemies, it's all included. But the whole point is Mad Mike wants his stale gum. Yeah, they, they, they need to have stale, not, not the new gum. Gum's gum gotta be stale. So you can play as four playable characters in this game. First, you gotta choose which level you wanna go to. Six levels to choose from. That's where you'll find the ingredients. Love how you warp there. <laughs> Very Garbage Pail Kids-like. And you're off and running. Now, again, you play as four playable characters, but your other Garbage Pail Kids cards will come into play as uh, usable items later on in this game, too. And we'll talk about that coming up as well. But you have Mad Mike. You run and jump, and you can also use your, uh, you know, your sword and axe for attacking, right? Yeah, you're your typical just kind of, you know, action guy, I suppose. Luke Puke, well, he can projectile vomit however you need. The longer you hold it down, the farther it's going to go. It might help you out with some of those enemies who are like down a level or something like that, you know? Leaky Lindsay, well, she's all full of snot and she's more of like your direct shooter. So she shoots, uh, you know, sneezes straight ahead. Gonna shoot enemies out of the sky and stuff like that, you know, perfect. And Patty Putty is my favorite character's graphics in this game. Because with the stretchability and everything, it's a, it, the face changes and manipulates just by walking and it's so cute. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> They jump on top of enemies for their form of attack. Unfortunately, it's easy to quick swap. You just hit the, like, what would be the select button, for instance, to uh, to swap through these characters to use that you need for whatever the situation calls for. Again, six stages, but these levels are huge. They are absolutely gigantic. It's just fun to see what other enemies are going to pop up, what other features are going to pop up, you know, just like what the screens are going to look like when you move on to the next stage and everything. Now, yeah, again, if you're a huge fan of Garbage Pail Kids, you'll recognize, you know, so many of these characters too. And if not, there's a gallery that will tell you who they all are. We'll, we'll look at that here in a second. Now, you might find these trash cans, which will give you maybe a new card that you can trade later on. We can talk about that. But it'll also, um, you know, feature trash. And when you fill up your trash meter, it'll give you like an invulnerability as you need it. And when you do find these cards, well, the cards you can trade, and those are going to be your, uh, your power-ups and things like that. So you can use Buggy Betty to fly to a certain part of the stage. You might be able to uh, freeze all the enemies or maybe use Atom Bomb to uh, attack all enemies on screen. You know, things like that. You know, you can uh, you know, revive one of your characters if they, if they die or fall in a hole or something like that. You can bring them back. You might even be treated to a little mini game sometimes in this game. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> the stages are pretty well laid out. Sometimes I did get lost a couple of times thinking like, you know, where am I supposed Like there's no arrows that point in the direction. You're just like, where am I supposed to go? Or what am I supposed to do? But if you just you know, go around long enough, you'll, you'll find where you're supposed to go here. Huge bosses in this game. Love seeing these gigantic bosses. And some of them have their own gimmicks too of like, you know, how you, you know, attack the boss or kill the boss or whatever. This is just one of them. And again, with other stages you can choose from, other cards you can collect from and everything. Yeah, I just love the fact that you can like, you know, trade. Trade cards, just like we did back, back in elementary school for me. And again, this game had a lot of help with Digital Eclipse. So you'll get things like you can save the game. You can save the game anywhere and then reload it as needed. Gotta love that. If it's easier for you, you can also rewind. That's right. So that'll help you out too. And you can also even watch someone just play this game all the way through, do a no-hit run, if you want to see like where things go or where to, you know, where to go and stuff like that. So the extra features in this game, there's a couple of movies you can watch, including kind of a... Uh, <laughs> a little feature on uh, what this game is all about. Kind of fun to see. Don't want to show you too much here, so. There's also kind of a, uh, like, I don't know if it's like a mockumentary or what you'd call this, but like a little behind the scenes of like, oh, here's a game that didn't come out and now we found it, you know. They have that on YouTube as well, but, you know, cool that they added this too as well. 
Soundtracks to check out, great music in this game. Now here's a gallery I was talking about too, so if you want to see who the characters are and how they pertain to the game, um, you, know, you can see their, what their original art looked like, zoom in if you'd like. Yeah, just so cool to see these guys again. It's been so long. Some of them I forgot all about until I saw them again. I was like, oh yeah, 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 I used to have that one, you know? Great artwork from this. Little behind the scenes stuff as well. Like, you know, here's the concept designs for stages and all that. Again, this was an NES game first that happens to be playable on modern consoles. Uh, so they do have the NES manual involved. You want to flip through the pages of the manual, we have that for you. And then even just like the laid out maps of the games too. <laughs> if you're like, where am I supposed to go? We can always look at the map and they'll show you. Garbage Pail Kids available on Modern right now. Pre-order for the NES cart. I think they're talking about Q1 for the NES cart to be released. I have mine pre-ordered. Um, I paid I paid money for it. They didn't pay me that. And if they can do Garbage Pail Kids, can we get a He-Man NES game? Can we do a Mask NES game? I mean, the options are limitless. But seriously, please make a He-Man and Mask NES game. I'd appreciate that. Maybe I should do it. Wait a minute.